y'all. So listen, let's talk about hair looking a mess. My hair needs to get done this week. So I'm comforting is getting done this week. That's what I got to say. So anyways, I watched the interview with Jay Cinco on DDG's podcast. And I see a lot of people coming for Cinco in the comments because they think he was throwing shade towards Brooklyn Queen. Listen, if it, there is no throwing shade. We all watched the videos when they did content together. How many times did he ask her to stop twerking? To stop twerking, to stop twerking, to stop twerking. She twerks almost everywhere. Everywhere they went, she was twerking. Let's not play naive. Like, we don't remember Jason Cole asking her to stop twerking. And then remember the little clip of the video where she was showing her butt? And he was like, come on, like, what are you doing? Like, Let's stop acting like he hasn't been who he's always been. He's already, if you couldn't read between the lines during those times, it told you that he don't like a girl that's doing all of that stuff, that's too revealing, that's twerking all the time. Like, the the, the old videos already showed that. So that's something that we, sh we should know about him if we were really following him. Another thing is... Brooklyn do got to dial it down. I saw, I forgot what live I was on. I was on either Cam's live or her live. I think it was Cam's live. And they was at, a, um, they was on a, a, a two-man, but they call it two-man. They was on a double date. And I think they was doing um, top golf, if I'm not mistaken. And she had on it. Now, she got a cute little shape. She's beautiful. She don't have to be fully covered. Like, she can show that she has a cute shape, but she still got to keep it classy to a point. Like, especially when you out with your man, she was actually out with her boyfriend. Like, Cinco was never her boyfriend. She was actually out with her boyfriend. And when I tell you, her butt was hanging out of her shorts. And I even commented on the live, like, Yo, Kim, tell her book, tell her book to pull, pull her shorts down. Like, he's there with his homeboy. And his homeboy's going to shake her high cheeks out. So, listen. Listen. Maybe it didn't bother Kim. And obviously, it didn't bother him because he didn't seem too bothered by it. And I think it was cool for him. Else, he would have said something. But Cinco, a different type of guy. Like, so we can't be mad at him for that. If you is lady, if you is girl, you got to dial it down and you got to be, you know, keeping your goods in. You know what I mean? Your goods shouldn't be for everybody. Your goods is really only supposed to be for your husband. Let's clock that. But people be in relationships, you know, fornicating. So that's, you know, whatever. But she do got to dial it down and she can't get mad as if he tried to play her because he been telling her for a while that she needs to chill with that twerking and dial all of that booty shaking down. So let's not act like Cinco ain't been told her. Ain't no shade, he be truthful. He's saying how he wants his girl to be. She don't gotta be whatever, that ain't his girl. He's saying, if you my girl, I need you to come this way and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's all I wanna say. It is no shade to Brooklyn or to anybody because I love all of them. So that's all I wanted to say. Love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Put your opinion in the comments. Bye.